Hey, good morning, you guys. Welcome to Hippie Chick. We're cooking. It's just a flick of the wrist. Now, today we are going to make a watermelon and cucumber beverage. Now, I've already started slicing up my cucumbers and my lemon, so I'm just going to continue with that. I have um, one more here that I'm going to slice. And now these cucumbers, um, we got these out of my husband's garden. So I've been trying to make these um, the videos using these cucumbers because, you know, everything is seasonal. So I was just trying to get it in. So I thought, hmm, what's another beverage I could make? So I decided to try this one. Okay, so I'm going to take these cucumbers and I'm going to place them over into my pitcher here. Uh oh. Just like that. Okay, now I've already sliced one lemon. I was trying to decide if I needed another one. I do have another one here that I can I can use, so I'll go ahead and do that as well. I'm just slicing out the ends, and I um, I have already, uh, you know, washed these lemons really good, so I'm just going to make little thin slices, just taking my knife and slicing. Now, we do grow lemons, but um, we've had that tree um, maybe about four years now, three or four years. And um, it hasn't done too much. Uh, one year, a couple of them came up, a couple of lemons we had, but um, it just hasn't been uh, very uh, fruitful just yet. So. so maybe hopefully one year I'll be able to um, actually have some lemons for you guys from our garden. Okay, so you guys see that? Doesn't that look pretty? Okay, so I also... Let me move the cutting board here. So I think I'll be finished with that. I'll go ahead and I'll start in with our watermelon. Okay, you guys, I have my watermelon back here. And what I did, um, I went on and cut the watermelon, okay? Now I have this, I'm gonna show it to you guys. I used this, Pop Chef. I don't know if anybody's um, ever used this or not, but I actually use this to to cut out my watermelon, okay? But in the process, it broke on me, you guys. Can you believe that? It broke. So, because I was going to come on and show you guys how um, I did it. So, instead, I'll just show you what attachment piece here that I use. This is what I use to make make that design there. So you guys, when it broke, I was like, oh, how can I finish it? So I continued on and just tried to cut it as best I could. But the thing was, when it broke, it wouldn't cool the, um, the watermelon out. So I had to kind of force it out. So that's why it's a little bit larger on the back side like that. Because I had to force it out. Which I, I, I really like it, how it still turned out. I kind of like it better, kind of thick like this. So, yeah, so this, that's what's happened with that. So, um, I just want to show you guys that. So, I did cut out the watermelon pieces. And now what we can do is go ahead and just put them here in the pitcher. Pull this over. Ooh. There we go. It's already looking so pretty, isn't it, you guys? I'll throw that piece away. Okay. All right, so here we go. So at this point, you guys, all we're going to do is add in maybe about, mm, well, now that we've got it filled with fruit, it probably won't take as much water. So let's just, let's see, because normally it would have taken about eight cups of water. Now, this is a two-cup measuring cup here, so... 
too. Ooh, that might look good, you guys. Now, if you had a seedless watermelon, that would have been so much better. But again, I always just kind of use what I have, you guys. We had this watermelon here. My husband bought a watermelon um, last night. And I decided, hey, what can I do with that? So I definitely wanted to go ahead and use that. So that's four. All right, so that's six cups of water, you guys, okay? So now at this point, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to kind of go in and just kind of gently just kind of, you know, stir it up, mix it up a little bit, you guys. Just a little bit, just to kind of get get it agitated a little bit, to so it can kind of release those um, different flavors and stuff, to kind of get it mixed up and infused. Ooh, you guys, doesn't that look good? Okay, and now at this point, I am gonna go in, and I'm gonna add in some of this mint that I got out of our garden. Okay. This is going to be some good stuff, I tell you. And I want a lot of mint in there, too. Because I do, I want that flavor to come through. And I have another piece here that I can use. I pulled some of that off, but there we go. All right. And of course, you guys, what you would do after you mix all this up, you would definitely let it chill um, before you serve yourself. But you guys, I love to put stuff, uh, my beverages, my drinks over um, ice. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and put it over ice for you guys. I have some ice here. I'm just going to put it into the glass. I like a lot of ice. So I'm going to fill it up with ice. Okay. Now, let me just do this another stir real quick, you guys. Just to kind of mix it up. Let me see what it looks like from that angle there. Oh, yeah. Look at it from this angle, you guys. Look at that. See the mint in there? Looks good, that mint. All right, so let's try this. I pour it over the sink here. Now, of course, if you want, you know, pieces of, you know, the uh, fruit and the vegetables in here, you would certainly, you can put that in there if you like. But I'm going to do it just like this. And I am going to add the mint. Okay. I think I have a straw here that I can use. Let's see if I have any straws. Yeah. Okay. So let's try this. Let me smell it. How many of y'all like to smell your stuff? And you guys, I smell everything. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's see. I like it. Now I can do this. Now I'm not a water drinker, just a straight water drinker um and i don't really like those what is it called the waters that they have with the different fla flavored water that's what it's called i don't i'm not a fan of flavored water but this i can get used to this i like this and you talking about refreshing you guys it's it's really refreshing and delicious okay you guys that is it 
super and simple. So you guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.